Hi, time for another little video. I know I should do them more often, but I get tired, I get lazy. I think of things I want to say and then I forget. Anyways, just thought I would throw a short video together just to do a video. First of all, it's November the 1st, another new month. And so much closer to election day, which will probably roll in two months before we find out who actually won. If the Democrats have their way, we'll be counting forever. And anyways, you know, I thought of a new slogan. What do you think of this one? I know it's, I'm going to get some hate mail from it if I put it anywhere else. But uh, I was thinking, hey, if you got a brain, get on the Trump train. Seriously, get on the Trump train. That's how I feel. Trump 2020. But when it comes right down to it, you know and I know, no matter who wins, God is always on his throne, and he's the one who's in control. So we have really no worries, except for the stupidity of others and uh, their attacks. If I'm a, I am thinking if Donald Trump comes into, uh, if he wins the election, that there's going to be some craziness going down. A lot of craziness. Um, I'm sorry, but the other side needs you needs the Lord Jesus badly. Um, they stand for killing babies and and well, I hate to say it, but gay marriage. It's I'm sorry, but that's against God. Um, I know I've gone over these things before, but we need to pray for the left. They are a mess. Um, they call us haters, but the real haters are them. Because if you disagree with them, they're up in your face. They're violent. Um, they stand behind the Black Lives Matter movement. When you and I know that all lives matter. All lives matter. Um, the Antifa, the, the violence, the, the killings of cops, the defunding of police. All of that is just nonsense. I mean, how can you stand behind defunding the police. Can you imagine our world without police? I mean, I know there's some bad cops out there, but you know, they're not all bad and we need them. Um, I'm afraid if that party gets in, we'll lose our gun rights. They'll take our guns and the only ones that will have guns will be the, the criminals. So everybody get on your knees and pray that Trump wins. But again, like I said, God is on his throne and he's not coming off of it. So God is in control and, and that brings me peace. And I hope it does you too. And if you don't know God, you will get a peace. If you find out who he is, learn who he is and live for him and accept him as your Lord and savior. Another thing I want to say is dusty Bibles lead to dirty lives. So dust up. I sometimes cannot talk dust off those Bibles and open them up and read and learn and seek. That's where we all need to be as Christians. And if you're not a Christian, pray and seek and ask God for guidance and he'll show you so you can understand the word. And the word is a living word. And believe me, sometimes you'll open up that Bible and it's speaking directly, directly to your heart. It's happened to me several times. And I'm sure other Christians too. Anyways... We're so close. Um, let's keep each other in our prayers and pray that things go smoothly this week in a new month. And before we know it, we'll be going into a new year and hopefully 21 is going to be a better year. I sure hope and pray so. So I love everybody that's watching. And uh, even if you hate me, I love you. <laughs> And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I hope everybody has a wonderful November, a happy Thanksgiving. And I'll come back on here sooner or later if I can think of something to talk about. Um, usually it's when I'm talking, it's going to be about God. Uh, God bless each and every one of you. Take care. Just a short video, just a touch base. Bye for now.